Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This is James and let's go over something we went over probably a hundred times before and you've seen it a hundred times other places. But let's go over it one more time. I think we've got some answers. And yes, I'm talking about the A and B thing in The Walking Dead. Now we know Jadis. We were introduced to Jadis at the junkyard. We were introduced to CRM, the helicopter. We didn't know exactly what it all was, but we kind of pieced together that she was trading people to this helicopter group for supplies, mainly food and, and stuff like that. I wouldn't say they were trading weapons because Jadis had Rick looking for weapons. You know, she was using other means to try to uh, come across some weapons, but she was definitely getting supplies, food and stuff from the helicopter group, which we now know is CRM, the three circle group, Civic Republic. But for a long time, we had questions. What is an A and what is a B? We saw Jadis bringing a walker up close to people like they were going to get bit right before she gave them to the helicopter. And here's a little bit from World Beyond that explains that. You killed all these people for research? No, most were found bitten out in the wild. They would have died in vain. So of course, Dr. Belshaw was being lied to in a lot of ways, but especially the one that most of these were found out in the wild. They were just bitten and they would have died in vain. So they brought them here so I could study the reanimation because they had just freshly been bitten out in the wild. But as we know, they had people like Jadis. They were trading for people, not just happened upon somebody that just got bit out in the wild and brought them to Dr. Belshaw. Of course, we now know that that was a system. Well, I think we know that an A is a test subject. Test subject A and then a number behind it. Has subject A402. Thank you. Bring out the next TS, please. So then what is a B? If an A is a test subject, what is a B? Remember, Jadis was about to go away. She wanted Gabriel to go with her. She said, hey, you should come with me. You can't choose me. And all this time, I thought you were a B. You're a B. You're a friend. You're someone that has potential to join Civic Republic. And that's what I think a B is. So she's like, I thought you were a B. But she hits him over the head and was going to make him an A. Was actually brought a walker down close to his face and almost got him bit, right? So she was going to make him an A. And she thought he was a B. What is that? Someone who she said Rick was. He was really an A, just a test subject, you know, just a test subject. But she lied and told them he was a B to save him. To save him from Kublik's testing facility and she told that to huck huck said you traded somebody you traded somebody's life to get into the civic republic didn't you and jada said yeah i did i had an a but i lied and said it was a b to save him that she had someone special so that's a little kink in the whole thing about why rick was special is he special because he was a b is he special because he was an a and she said he was a b is he special because he's rick and there's something special about rick specifically so to me, as far as clues from the show, an A is a test subject and B is more like a friend and not necessarily a friend, but someone that they can put in a culling facility. I think Jadis and Rick might have went through that. And Jadis, she went on into the military and didn't deny it. Like, I don't want to escape. I don't want to get away. I want to join these guys and help them and be all I can be in the CRM. And she went that direction. Rick, of course, was trying to escape. Like, I don't want to be a part of this. So to me, a B is someone who has potential to join the Civic Republic or CRM. And they start that process going into a culling facility and, and from there. An A, of course, test subject. But there was this video that came out and it was actually on the Walking Dead's official YouTube channel. This was a while back and it had these little cards that you read as it went along. And I think it's wrong. I think it's wrong the way that they were even telling us what this meant. And maybe they were doing it to hide the real meaning. Maybe they didn't even know at the time. But here's what that little piece said. It talks about the part where the saviors were blaming Anne for some of the saviors missing and dying and stuff like that back in season nine. And Gabriel stepped up. It says Gabriel used to be a coward, but now he's stepping up to fight the saviors all alone. He's the only one that defended Anne. And it says his development from a B to an A is noted by Anne. So that makes you believe because he stepped up, because he's a leader type person, you know, a big theory out there. A lot of people think, oh, an A is a leader. 
No, an A is a test subject. And But this is making it sound like, yeah, it's a leader. Um, and then in this shot, it says the moment reveals that Anne had been making her captives and trading them to the mysterious helicopter group. Rick was labeled an A, making him a powerful bargaining chip. Is a test subject a more powerful bargaining chip than a B, a potential uh, Civic Republic person? Am I wrong in all the clues that I just pulled from the show uh, telling you guys what I think it is? And is this little video, the part talking about Gabriel, is that correct? I think I'm correct. You guys may have a different theory and still think that a leader either explains A or B, that you're a leader type strong person. And I just don't know if that really filters in. They captured Silas and instead of making him an A, which would have been a test subject, I think they made Silas a B. And Silas went to the culling facility. Silas eventually became a soldier. And he's going along that path, the same path Jadis went on. But maybe I'm looking at it wrong. You guys can let me know what you think about it and how you see it. Of course, down in the comments below, and I will join you there. This is James in Nashville. As always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more dead stuff.